This is Tim Seaton saying goodbye from the lovely town of Saransk. Spent a lovely day here, seen some unusual things, seen some familiar things, seen Lenin, and this really is the town of a thousand statues. But to understand how it happened, we need to go back about 24 hours to a sudden, spontaneous decision to buy a rail ticket just to somewhere. Good evening from Vastochny Vogzal, and I am trying to find a train to Saransk. I think I may have found it. Let's see if I can get on, and then I'll tell you what I'm doing. So, I made it onto the train. We're about to depart. This is number 63 from Moscow Vastochny, the eastern station, to Saransk. We'll be there tomorrow morning at about 10 o'clock. So, time to settle down. I've got a coupé but uh, the other people are asleep, so I'm not going to film in there. We'll just settle down, have a good night's sleep, and then in the morning, we'll see what we can find. Kovanchik Timofey has just jumped in to find the best place by the window, but I think I'll have something to say about that. Saransk has provided a beautiful day for me. The sun is shining, the skies are blue, the streets are wide and empty, although that may be because it's quite early on a Sunday morning. I'm heading down towards the main square, which I've been told is walking distance. Some very nice locals just out the, outside the station who said, uh, don't bother getting a taxi, your legs will work, so uh, they sent me off in this direction. And uh, already seen some interesting things along the way. Ah, the good old days when cars were really cars and they were an experience and something to be enjoyed rather than just getting around from place to place. That is a vehicle. And it's got the three-person front seats. I love that. I'm going to need to find somewhere to sit down and get a coffee um, and figure out what I'm going to do. But for the moment, there you go. Saransk is looking great. This is Prospect Lenin, at which I'm walking down to get to the centre. But I've noticed that the street names are not just in Russian and English, but because we're in Mardovia, I'm assuming they're in Mardovan, plus a fourth language as well. I wonder what that is. Might have to find out. Here we are outside the Saransk Art Museum, named after Erzy, with all these little sculptures outside. Erzil was apparently a sculptor, which explains what these uh, figures are doing outside the museum, which contains a large collection of his works. And he spent about 25 years down in Argentina and then brought a lot of them back in the 1950s to the Soviet Union. Um, and he's actually buried here in Saransk. But that museum behind the figures contains all his works. And just beside the museum is this little fake bridge with a, is that a fox on top of a fox? And the fox has got a very polished nose. I'd have to go and do that myself. Not quite sure when the last time I uh, rubbed a fox's nose was, but let's hope it gives me good weather. And an interesting trip here in Saransk. Well done, fox. Next on my trip around town is this, which is just fantastic. The St. Fyodor Ushakov Cathedral, named after this guy who was an admiral in the Russian Navy. Apparently, 
up there at the top is a place where you can get out and look outside around town. So I'm going to see if I can climb up to the dome and take a look from the top. So one of those moments that occasionally happens on unplanned trips. I've been inside the cathedral. It's beautiful, it's modern, but there's no way to go up to the viewing platform outside and I'm not going to shoot any film inside because there is a funeral going on. So I will leave them to their private grief and head on to see what else there is in this town. Just behind the cathedral there's this square with a statue to Patriarch Nikon. It's apparently one of only two in the country and he's here because he was responsible for converting the Mordovians to Christianity. Before that they were pagans and apparently most of their gods were actually goddesses. Apparently the only surviving 17th century building in the town. Well, more or less in its original form anyway. So all I've got to do is find the actual entrance and it won't be that one because that'll be the main part of the church and so I'm guessing we'll have to come over here somewhere. The John the Baptist Church, 17th century, Saransk. There is so much history in here. You can just feel it coming out of the walls. It's wonderful. Obviously, it's much smaller than the cathedral because it was harder to heat in the old days, so they made it smaller. All the icons are almost one on top of the other. Slightly strangely, right up at the top, the icon is not of a judgmental Christ, but a very peaceful one. But also you can see everything's golden and decorated, although there are no candles burning which is odd, but beautiful, really beautiful. Quite hot in the sun, the Kabantik Timothy has decided to cool off by the fountain just outside the theatre. Very sensible idea, actually, I might do the same myself. Heading down towards the banks of the Saransk, this bit of shade, which is very nice. The embankment of the Saransk River, the Yenisei, this definitely is not. They do have this lovely open-air museum with wooden houses just by the banks of the river to be to come and have a look around. This wooden house is a restaurant serving supposedly local specialities. So, I think it's time for a break, grab something to eat and maybe even a local brew if they've got one. I'm sure they must do. Surely they must do. Oh my lord, that is the poor room. Honey based beer apparently. My legs are going to go to jelly after this. We'll see. Let's see, Basho. So, this is a traditional Moldovan food which is called a bear's paw. There is no bear in it, it's just called that because it's plated up that way. Um, it's actually made with beef liver and pork and various nuts and other bits and pieces with cucumbers and new potatoes. So while I tuck into this, Kabanjik Timofi is going to finish off with his salad and the pure, which is like a medovik. <laughs> 